Hello folks, welcome back. My name is Untogether and this is the second part of our Civ 4 playthrough. Uh, so you may remember from last time we were the Incas. Well, we still are, obviously. Uh, and I've got three cities at the moment, although that could change very, very shortly because I took a bit of a risk here. I've just set up this city here. Uh, because we are starting to be blocked out at the top here. You can see a foreign sieve set up just here where I'm circling that mouse. They're going to try and block us into this area. So we have a quite a small landmass to work with. Uh, so I've stuck a city down here, trying to get myself a manufacturing base with all the mountains and everything else. But we got two hostile warriors. Now we are at peace at the moment. Luckily, they didn't see this undefended city and run straight in there. They, we are, I am building an archer here, and we will try and get him over there. Uh, Judaism has just been founded, which I think is what we were about to get if we got to the end of here. What have we got there? That's the marble, isn't it, that we saw last time. So we've trained an archer here. I think I'll still need another one up in my foreign city here. Uh, we will give them city defence. And we will move him down to take up residence in that far city there. I am there. the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And it was indeed. It would have given us Judaism, but it's already been founded. We managed to found Hinduism. Hinduism, sorry. Uh, earlier on in the game. Saladin's ahead of us here, by the look. Uh, organised religion. Can build missionaries without monasteries. Yes. We will go organise religion this early in the game. We're going to have pottery still, so we'll jump for that next. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get out there and build a camp for there. Oh, our scout, I think he was healing, which is why we hadn't seen him back until now. I might send him off on an auto. We've got a continent here, if we scroll out, if I scroll out here... Um, we can see I have this small corner, uh, but there are enemy sieves dotted all around. I think there's four or five of the six enemy sieves uh, are all on this continent with me. And it's going to be a tricky one. So we will build a camp there. Let's continue to search with our scout. The trouble is with so many sieves, probably all the goody huts have been taken already. But, uh, there's nothing much we can do. Training of a settler, yes I know, but uh, unfortunately there's really nowhere we can put him, even if we do train one. Here's another sieve here, you see. Here's the borders of another sieve, and there's one there. We are packed in. We are packed into our map. So we've got another archer there. So what can we build? Uh, a Hindu monastery is required to train a missionary. I can't really go for any, uh, well, we could go Stonehenge, a free obelisk in every city, centres the world map. Double speed with stone, but we don't have any. Yeah, let's try that for now. I have city defence, and we will send him up there. Okay, they've done that, and I think they need to road. Hopefully I'm remembering that right. We need to road the uh, the bits. The things that we manufacture, we need to road them back in to, uh, to get their benefits. I'm going to build a settler here. I wonder if I can get him around there. Yeah, he, well, I don't think so. So if I jump to here and build another road, that should then connect this one to here. Which we have done. We go down there and build another mine, which we will do. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? So pottery is done. See, sailing, sailing will help. We're doing what we're doing. Why are they? Um, I don't understand why they stopped being fortified. Perhaps I clipped on them by mistake. Right, so they're going to build another mine there and then we'll get them down here and we'll start turning some of this into farmland to build up our, other, our next city. So 
So an obelisk has been built here. This will enable them to get some culture. It means we can build out and we can take a hold of that there. Uh, we'll need for a work boat. Let's get you some barracks because everybody needs to build things. So that's one of their outposts there. That looks unguarded. But obviously we can't take that with a scout. Not that we know what's going on here. We've probably soon have it taken back from us. So let's carry on here. Searching up this way. Okay, they've built that. We're going to move them down to there. And we're going to see. Oops. So we're going to go here and then around. You've connected your first city with your capital. Because they are connected, they will share their resources, which is why we built these. Uh, why we eroded that into there. And our first food resource is a cow. Raise the health level in all cities connected to our capital. Okay. Another culture uh, build for there. So build a cottage. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, we want to build a farm here for irrigation. And we want to get ourselves some rice. Good, a settler has been built. Uh, now the next thing, we're going to build an archer to go with him. And since there are... They've just built them there. That is unbelievable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place him over here. Or perhaps even up here. And then I'm going to see if I can't culture them out. But the trouble is I can't... I can't get over there without doing that. So, where is my foreign advisor? Can I right click? No. Uh, I want to talk to him. I can't remember how to do it. Show tiles, yield display, domestic, financial. Come on, one of these must be foreign. Civics, foreign. There we go. So, let's make a trade proposal. We're going to trade open borders. That's perfect. Right, so we can now enter each other's lands without triggering a war. So I'm going to bring my settler to the edge of my land. I'm going to wait until that arch is built. I'm not going to send him on his own. So we're almost done with an archer here. So with those two mines he's now flying through the uh, barbarians there hopefully being in forest with their upgrade and they should hopefully survive this fight which they did okay they've trained an archer uh, a Hindu missionary can spread Hinduism spread Hinduism in friendly cities or rival cities with open borders well that's a definite we will spread Hinduism to the other guys. So they want a city defence upgrade. Let's put them there first. They can wait until the next turn. Uh, I'm going to heal these guys. The 0.1 of 1. They're almost dead. So they can wait and be healed. Hinduism is spread in Kubla Say, which is not one of mine, I don't think. Uh, ah, Hinduism has spread to their capital, which is excellent. Blimey, there's another one here. This is going to be a massive land grab. Um, let's put him there. They built a farm, yep, so we need to road that down into there. So these two cities. Caesar wants open borders. And Steam wants to offer me a trading card. That's just great. Uh, Open borders with Rome, I don't think that's worthwhile. Stonehenge. So we've built Stonehenge. Uh, not in the southwest of England. But in Cuso. I think another worker for the moment. Our archer can catch up with our settler. He's jumping ahead. 
Like I say, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna have to pop him down here somewhere, which might annoy these guys, but we'll have to see. You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sails. So we can have a galley that we can go up the coast and have a look. Uh, I might produce a galley somewhere. Uh, the priesthood allows us to build a temple, which makes for um. Yeah, that's where it's saying. That's where we're going to head to. Uh, so they've built their road there. So we need to build a road here to bring this rice into our city. Uh, their culture has just expanded, which means this gold is now up for grabs, and we can mine all the way along here. I could possibly get one more city down here. Uh, I think I probably will do. There's a lot of desert here that I can't do much with, but I think we will get uh, that done. They're heading there. I want them to get in there as well. Next turn we will found a city. So a Hindu missionary is here. Now a lighthouse. Uh, food output of water tiles. So given there's a lot of forest and mines around there, that's not a bad idea for that city, so we'll do that. A Hindu missionary here is going to go to this city here. They are going to found a new city here. Now with Stonehenge, we get a free uh, obelisk straight away. But what I'm, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to build them a barracks. And we're going to get them a barracks underway. I um, don't think there's much I want to do there, because Stonehenge is there. Let's get them a mine on the go as our next priority. Try and up their uh, production rate a little bit. Let's get you going with that. Okay, our archer can now fortify over there. Uh, he's there. Now I can gift the unit, but we don't want to do that. We want to spread Hinduism because it's our state religion. So we've got a worker down here now. Let's go for our settler and we'll drop him down and we'll get our last, realistically, the last city that we're going to get for a little while. Let's get you down here and get some gold on the go because gold is always a good thing. See our gold's increasing but um, have virtually zero. So yeah as you can see the wealthiest civilizations I am bottom uh, which is no great surprise there. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So what do we want next? Writing uh, enables open borders. Well, we've got that already, but we can get a library and or bronze working reveals copper. Then we can train axemen. I think that's. I've got the feeling that we're going to be fighting reasonably soon. So I'm kind of surprised that we're not already. To be honest with you, with everybody packed in so close. So we're going to have a second defensive unit here. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing that now. We'll get a couple of archers up. We'll get rid of the worries that we've got in place. Hinduism in Walatar. This is very good. Um, they're a lot. Uh, the Malanese are a lot less likely to go to war with us if they share our religion. Um, and so, you know, that's that's a very handy thing uh, for us to have. What I'm hoping for is if we can build up culture in these cities here, because we're being pressured here and here as well. We need to build up some culture in these cities here, either to turn them to our side, or to at least protect ourselves from turning, uh, because cultural changes can happen quite quickly. So again, let's concentrate on a mine here. It's got oh, somebody's got a chariot already. A chariot, an archer, and a settler for Saladin. He is flying, bless him. As you can see, points-wise, I am lagging behind him, but if he's got all that ground to work with. So they have a lighthouse. Let's have a second archer just to sit there. Let's give you a mine. I think Saladin may be our biggest problem. So we'll get some gold on the go there. Get up on the hills here and see if we can't see a little bit around. So an archer in Tuanku. So, Hindu temple. Uh, one gold and one culture. Culture is always a good thing. Let's get in here. Uh, so we've got two archers. So I'm going to disband 
this warrior for now because we're going to be training axemen very shortly. A couple of units for defence, archer to sit in. That's what we'll try and do for all our cities is we'll have a couple of uh, barracks trained archers. Do I know who this is? I must do because it hasn't said I've met them. Uh, a barracks and all there in this place. Um, quite a for military. They have one archer at the moment. But what I really need doesn't seem to be on there. Uh, there's a Hindu temple. Well, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because they don't have Hinduism. They don't have the religion yet. It needs to spread there. As you can see, everybody's encroaching on their land. It's all very well if they can, you know, if they expand this way, that's fine. But we need to get in some of these lands here. Uh, so, what are we going to build here? We'll build them a lighthouse because they are going to be reliant on. Well, Tambo has uh, expanded, but again, it's mostly expanded out to sea, which isn't really what we want. So back up here, let's come around this corner and we'll see whose area that is. The enemy has been spotted near Cruzo. <clears throat> well, they could pose a danger to my workers, you see. This is the problem. Of course, I just disbanded all my warriors. I forgot to build a road up there, so I need to go back up there and do that. So these are hostile archers. We have a settler here now, and we can't do anything with him. So let's build our warrior. The settler needs to stay in the safety of the city for now. Uh, why is that the English? It might be. They have expanded with culture again. You can see now with their culture how far back they're pushing. They're, such, they're a much larger city with a lot more cultural uh, knowledge and they're pushing back the borders here. And with any luck soon, we would hopefully be able to turn them. They have axemen already, which is not a good thing. Uh, so they've put a road there. Let's put them back up there. So they can build a mine here. We're going to hopefully try and make this a bit of a manufacturing city, this one. The archers have gone off there, and I was hoping a creature in Kuzo, but we're going to chase down those archers, and we'll see if we can't give them a bit of a slap. Uh, Hindu temple, happiness and culture. Do you know what? I'm going to build a missionary, because I want to spread it to there. So this here, this is my settler. And I want them to come down the way. I'm going to set them up here or here, I don't really know. This is my warrior. He's going to have a very specific job, which is to kill this archer. So we'll give him 25 against archer. I can't believe I was unable to chase him down. Uh, you need to build a road here so we can get uh, the gold into this city and that's done for you sunshine so hindu temple here as well which is excellent now the parthenon double speed with marble and typically we don't have any marble uh, hindu monastery is another cultural city which is not a bad thing at this stage they got promoted 25% uh, against melee units. Let's get you healed. You can't go any further without triggering a war. So let's bring you there. Now, am I going to put you there or down here? Hmm. Don't know. I'm going to move you up to the border there. And we'll end our turn here. So they've roaded to there. What we need is some farms, I think. And our cottage. Let's build a cottage there for now. Let's build a road there as well. There's an English archer. If I put him there, he does get access to a lot of land. 
and we've got access to C as well. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so this city here, get yourself a barracks for a start because we're going to need all the good military units that we can get. It is entirely seen in that turn. A young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Uh, slavery. No, we're not going to induce slavery. Uh, right in it, I think, to give us some libraries because everything else seems to be a long way. So we have our Hindu missionary there. Let's go for a temple. They've created that. Do you know what the Parthenon? It's not a bad idea. It's 10 culture a turn, which is going to be huge and it's really going to put pressure. In the uh, on the other cities that are there so a granary stores 50% of food after growth gives us plus one from corn wheat and rice which I don't have is that copper down there I think it is um, or let's have a galley from you guys city defense and fortify yeah we just had some copper appear down there now my missionary needs to spread my own religion to my own city to get there but first of all I'm surprised. I'm very surprised there's no walls yet. Everybody's so close, and we're so kind of spread out here. What I think this means is there must be a continent somewhere, or at least a, a relatively big-sized island. Uh, it's probably only got one individual on it. So what we're going to do is um, I'm not going to make him fortify. Sentry. So when an enemy unit enters an adjacent square, he'll come awake. Other than that, he can just sit on our borders. I'm roading my way, trying to road my way back up to here and try and get these connected to get this gold in. Let's also get this copper going as well, because that is a that is an important resource. Alexander wants open borders again. I don't even know where the Greeks are, to be honest. I, I don't think it's worth that. I don't want them seeing everything that I've got at the moment. There's the Arabs up there. That's Saladin. So let's jump back here. Let's zoom out. So we can see we've got our four cities here. I might have room for a fifth here. We're hemmed in, though, into this corner. Uh, by the Molinese who are fortunately friendly to us. Um, in fact we've got five cities of course because we have this one over here as well. That's going to be the first to fall. Um, so we have our cities there. And if we come around the world we can see a couple of other spots there right on the other side of the world. It's not a very big world. Uh, and there we go. So I think this is a good point to leave this episode. Uh, so thanks very much everyone, my name has been On Together, uh, and join me next time as we try and uh, we try and get a decent foothold in a corner of the continent. Okay, thanks everyone, see you next time.